All right, so today I did a repetition deadlifts, as I said in the beginning. <clears throat> I haven't really done any high reps for anything in a while. Uh, so I started off with 135, worked my sweat, excuse me, worked my way up to 315, and this is where I consider my working sets. I uh, did these for tens. If you notice, I have different angles throughout the whole video, and the reason for that was because I had set. I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to place the my phone so I could record myself, which, in all honesty, is, is very odd when I do that. I just, for whatever reason, I just feel very weird <clears throat> just recording myself. Uh, also, I start off uh, wearing my sweater and then I take it off. Normally, I like to do that just to get my body warmed up, something that I did when I was wrestling. Uh, I pretty much say the same thing in my blog. I always did that in wrestling, just kind of started off with sweats. And once I started getting into more serious weight or right before a match, I would take it off, and I always felt really good. So uh, I haven't been doing that lately, but I want to start doing that again more. So working up to my 385 deadlift, these all felt really good. I ended up going up to 405, or it was actually 408. Uh, our, the bumper plates we have, we have two sets. One of them is 44 pounds, and one of them is 55 pounds. Uh, the 55 pound ones were being used and I didn't really want to mess with them. So I just grabbed the 44 pound ones and I just put some two and a halfs on the end just to compensate for that pound loss. And I figure if I go a little heavy, a couple pounds heavier, I'd rather do that than be a pound under because why would you go lighter? You know what I mean? <clears throat> so I did this and I did uh, 405 for eight and it actually felt great. You know, I moved the bar well, I moved the the weight great I uh, didn't really feel anything it just moved well my next set actually I actually went for 15 and on that one it was just I just kept going uh, I didn't want to stop I figured once I got to 10 I'd see how it felt I got to 10 and I was like you know what screw it I'm gonna go to 15 so I did uh, one thing that I actually that really helped today was not facing the mirror I normally don't work out facing the mirror um, when I'm at a normal gym, but because I'm at the gym on base, it isn't exactly a powerlifting gym or a hardcore gym or whatever. So there's mirrors all over the place, and that really throws me off, especially when I'm doing heavier deadlifts and heavier squats. Uh, you know, I should it should be a mind over matter thing, but for whatever reason, staring at myself in the mirror uh, is just very odd. You know. They always say to keep a neutral head when you're doing your lifts, so obviously you're going to be staring right at yourself, and yeah, it's just weird. I don't like to do that. <clears throat> so on this set, I kind of just kept going and going and going. Uh, I recorded all of my 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 sets or my working sets, uh, including my dumbbell rows, and I didn't show you. I didn't record my ab session. I didn't really feel the need to do that. So if you guys want to. I guess see my entire workout warm-ups and everything let me know I mean that's a lot of it take part like a 30 minute video but if you really want to see it by all means let me know um, after my deadlifts I I like to do on deadlift days I like to do a variation of a squat and on my squat days I like to do a variation of my deadlift so on my deadlift I'm sorry on my squat I did pause squats today uh, last week I did front squats to 335, three, three, yeah, 335. <clears throat> so today I worked up 315, uh, just went nice and deep, held it for a second or two at the bottom, came up, and went up to 405 for, I wanted to do it for a single, decided to go for a double once I got it. It felt, it felt great. I was really concentrating on my form, keeping my head neutral, and just you know just moving the weight as fast as I could I just really really want to stick to my form because once I start going closer to 500 uh, my form starts breaking down so I need to really concentrate on that on the on the lower weights so once I start getting into the heavier weights it's just kinda just a muscle memory type thing <clears throat> and that's pretty much it uh, I have duty tomorrow so I won't be putting out any videos may put out something in my blog but that is it. You guys have a good day.